I've been thinking about nuclear waste. What are we going to be doing with all our fucking nuclear waste? These are the kinds of things that no one talks about except on C-SPAN. They talk about global warming. They talk about Thunderfoot. They talk about, are all atheists babies? No, are all babies atheists or something like that? But they don't talk about fucking nuclear waste. What the hell are we going to do with it? Are we going to store it in solid form? Are we going to crystallize it and capsulize it? Are we going to bury it in the ground? Are we going to leave it scatter all over the fucking place? What are we going to do? Let me just tell you, that's not a fucking problem. Here is why. Nuclear waste gives off ionizing radiation. X-rays and gamma rays, even fucking better, more energetic. They cause mutation, changes in the DNA. And mutation is the wellspring of evolution. The wellspring. Think of it. You can have noxious chemicals in the environment, but chemicals are specific. They bind to DNA in particular places with higher specificity than others. But... Ionizing radiation is completely non-discriminatory. It causes far more random mutations. And as I have said, mutations are the wellspring of evolution. If we had no mutations and the environment remained constant, then the gene pool would remain stagnant with slime and fungus. Nothing would change. The dinosaurs would still be here. Unless that meteorite. Whatever. But with ionizing radiation, we can do something profound. Now, certainly, some, most, granted, of the mutations will be deleterious, 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 deleterious. <laughs> it's time for more yogurt. Mmm, that's good stuff. How the fuck, how the fuck can the Greek economy be so far into debt when they can make stuff this fucking good? They could sell this and get out of debt. It's great. I buy it all the time. If we all bought Greek yogurt, that'd be it. As long as it was made in Greece. I don't know where this was made. Oh, fuck. Just Greek yogurt made in New Jersey. Fuck. Anyway, as I was saying, the wellspring. You know, I got the idea. And here's another thing, okay? I mean, here's another thing. Even though I couldn't say deleterious, I got it now. Um, this Thunderfoot guy, right? He's let us down. Let's talk about him to death. Ah! Because we had nothing fucking better to do. And Pat Condell, same difference. He's let us down. And there's a bunch of assholes in the atheist community because they don't know shit and they're stupid and whatever because people are people and it doesn't matter and you just can't have it all work out so that we're all great people. It's kind of sad. By the way, on that, this thing with uh, babies, uh, all babies are atheists, crap. Uh, you know, it's coming back because we have nothing to talk about, nothing to do. We can't talk to the religious folks anymore, even though some people are still doing it, like that crocoduck guy, and I like him, but, you know, it doesn't make any difference. They're not going to fucking listen! They need to have ah! ionizing radiation shoved up their fucking ass until they mutate! But the best video ever made about the baby thing, about um, the very, very, very best, about uh, all, <laughs> deleterious, 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 about um, all atheists are babies, no, all, uh, all babies are atheists, yeah, different, was, was made by pre-med too, and I'll put that in the link below, it was brilliant, very short, great analogy, very creative, says everything all in once, Absolutely fantastic. And you know fucking why? Because I was exposed to ionizing radiation as a baby.
Thank you for your time and attention.